Hi, my name is David and I'm the creator of The Coral Guardian. It's a 10 minute short film that takes place entirely underwater. The story is about a helmet diver who died a hundred years ago in the ocean. Corals grow in his helmet and bring him back to life. In search of a way out, he finds a coral reef and decides to stay. But in the decades that follow, he feels a change in the ocean, which will affect not only his beloved home, but also himself. It is my graduation film and the fulfillment of a dream that I had for a couple of years. As far as I remember, I always loved the water. When I started diving, I got introduced to this whole new wonderful world, so I decided to specialize in underwater cinematography. But I didn't know what the topic of my graduation film would be. While shooting a project about plastic pollution in the oceans, I got to know the incredible coral reefs in southern Egypt. A documentary on Netflix called Chasing Corals and an image of a helmet diver gave me the final inspiration to tell an entire story underwater. It was a tough challenge to get this project on the road and into the water. I created mood boards and a previous teaser and a 3D program to help raise funding for the film. Fabian Reber, our costume designer, not only created the waterproof corals on the helmet, but also aged the whole suit and all the props we used throughout the film. The boots weighed 12 kilograms each, so we had to replace the lead soles with steel. A friend of mine who is a blacksmith and geologist took on that challenge, while I was testing as much as I could in the local swimming pool. But the main challenge was to find the right actor, who would be a professional diver with experience, time and brave enough for this crazy project. We found him. Andreas Heckler. He's one of the dive base owners and went into the project with the full support of his staff, which was some of the nicest divers from Egypt and Germany that I had the pleasure to get to know. We could finally start the shoot in Egypt after the costume arrived three days later because of a strike at the airport. After some costume fittings, we did our first rehearsals in the safety of the shallow bay. It really wasn't easy in the beginning, because no one has ever done something like this before. From unknown shipwrecks to cameras almost carried away by currents. We got better day by day and finished the project with all the love and dedication we could put into it. <laughs>